Tansy Oliveira effect. Now let's go ahead and see what is Tansy Oliveira effect. See, just try and understand this thing, okay? As you increase inflation, then your budget deficit also becomes large. Why is that? Because just imagine this thing. Imagine that today income of people is 1000 and let's say your tax rate is 20%. So 20% of 1000 is 200. You collect 200 as tax. Let's imagine that the price of each good. Suppose the government has to make a school from it. So the government wants to buy cement. And the price of cement is 20 per kg. So the government will be able to buy 10 kgs. Now just imagine. Suppose people earn income today. But they pay tax in a lag. They pay tax after one year. But after one year, the price is no more 20. The price has increased to, let's say, 40 per kg. Then from the same tax collected, government will be able to buy only 5 kgs of cement, 200 divided by 40. So basically what is happening, that as there is inflation, since taxes are collected with lag, it leads to decrease in real tax collected. This effect, this is known as the Tansy Oliver effect. So if you're collecting less amount in the real terms, but you still have to buy more cement, so you will incur more deficit. Isn't it? So this effect is called Tansy Oliver effect. So let's read this down. As inflation rate becomes high, budget deficit becomes larger. This is why because of the lags in tax collection. If income taxes are paid this year, income tax received last year, uh, and if price level this year is 10 times higher than the last year, then the actual tax collected is one tenth official tax rate, right? So basically when there is high inflation, the real revenue of the government decreases and therefore deficit becomes worse. Now, what will the government do in this case? The government realizes that, you know, inflation is a very bad thing. So the government will try to reduce inflation. Just try and think about this. In order to reduce inflation, government will go to the producers and tell them, keep the price of things constant. Don't increase the price of cement. Suppose this producer he purchases this cement from another person. Suppose this person has increased the price, but the government has asked the cement person to not increase the price. But then this person will be in loss. So in order to catch up for this loss, the government will go ahead and give him subsidy. The government, when gives subsidy, will be incurring an expenditure. This will again increase the budget deficit. Are you getting it? Take another example. For example, the government has to buy clothes for the purpose of distribution. The government realizes that clothes are becoming expensive day by day. So from the same tax collected, government is able to buy less clothes. So the government goes to the manufacturer of clothes and says that, you know, you have to fix the price of cloth. Now, let's say cloth is produced using cotton. And the price of cotton is continuously increasing. This person is not allowed to increase the price. Cotton prices are increasing. So what will happen? This person will start bearing losses because his cost of production is increasing, but cost of selling is not increasing. Okay. Now, this loss is because of the government. So the government will go and give him subsidy. But if the government gives subsidy, it's an expenditure for the government. It will increase the deficit of the government. So the deficit of the government increases. Let's read this. Government tries to reduce inflation by putting restriction on increase in prices. But the cost of production is increasing. Government gives subsidy to do this which further increases the budget deficit of the government.